Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am going to do my makeup. I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup routine today. I haven't been the best at doing makeup. Actually, I haven't even done makeup really. What are you doing? What is that? It's a screw. Anyways, like I was saying, I haven't done makeup in the last little bit for a while. My acne has been really, 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 really good. Knock on wood. It hasn't been this good in a while, and I know if you're not used to seeing my face, you'll probably think that it's bad, but this is very good. <laughs> These are all just scars, not cystic acne. They're just kind of like on the skin acne. Um, that side I think is worse than this side. I think I have one that's pretty big up there. Mushu, can you chill? So my acne's been really good. I haven't gotten any really like deep cystic acne. One of the reasons, I'm gonna have to put them outside of this room, I swear. <laughs> one of the main reasons why my acne has actually been doing really well is because of my diet. I've been really researching kind of like the hormonal side of uh, balancing my home hormones with micronutrients and kind of like vitamins and stuff like that. So. That's what I've been doing. I did want to show you a little kind of like meal plan that I've been making for myself over the last couple days because I've really not been feeling into the gym. I've actually been having like a really, not, I, won't, I don't want to say bad mental health week, but just a different mental health week. Like I've been feeling down, unmotivated in some ways, but then also really motivated in other ways. So I kind of just haven't been feeling myself. I think that it's kind of like a turning point in my career and my kind of like outlook on life and stuff. I've been doing a lot more gratitude and trying to slow things down and not put a lot of pressure on myself because I've been feeling in that mental health space of why don't you have a house yet? Why don't you have kids yet? Why don't, why like, you know, and even though that's all stuff that I want in my life, I'm just feeling like I'm needing to get there sooner than I'm ready for and I'm, I shouldn't be feeling that way, right? Anyway, back to what I was saying about my meal plan. I've kind of written out some things. So here I've written out things I should always have in my house. Some new things that I've kind of like introduced into my diet for my hormone levels and trying to heal my um, acne, my hormonal acne, is cod liver oil, bone broth, got apple cider vinegar, um, chia seeds and hemp hearts. I'm eating more nuts and more dried coconut. Also more lemon, ginger, and turmeric. Those have, ones have been really good for like anti-inflammatory and stuff. And there's more fish, yams and stuff. Less simple carbs and more complex carbs. And I think what I'm saying about like career change wise, I don't, I don't like drastically want to change my career in any sense. I just kind of am looking towards more of the health aspect of fitness as a whole instead of just like working out <laughs> and that worked for a while for me just working out but now i'm kind of looking at okay like what are the other aspects of being healthy and athletic in a sense of like a more well-rounded outlook on it instead of just like, oh yeah, I did my workout. I'm like super into exercise and fitness in that way, but like, I'm just gonna eat like shit. And that's kind of what I've been doing for a long time. If I'm being honest with, with myself, I was not taking my nutrition into as much account as I should be. And I think that it has come out in numerous different ways, like brain fog, acne, bloating, no motivation, feeling just like heavy, salt retention, you know, the side effects you get from eating kind of like a crappy diet. And not saying that I was eating McDonald's every day, because I definitely do not even like McDonald's or fast food for, for that point anyways. I was just eating minimal amount of vegetables, high amount of protein, high amount of carbs, and that's all great for, you know, getting your macros, but I feel like I was just very much not getting my micronutrients. I tried to eat greens, like I've tried to eat a green powder. I've literally told myself to eat greens every day for the past like three months and I've had it twice. So I really need just like a reboot on my diet and a refresher on healing myself from the inside. <laughs> yes, anyways. I'm gonna do my makeup because this is a like a tangent that I've been on. I just wanted to show you one more thing. I put myself a little meal plan like this. I know it's not like official or anything like that. It's just me writing down like loosely what I want to be eating. Which is eating the lights and I realized that I should put these lights on. Is that too annoying? 
that's maybe annoying. Okay, yes, what I was saying is I have some options for breakfast, options for lunch, options for dinner, and then if I'm hungry, I would pick one of these snacks. I don't wanna um, count calories or anything like that. I just wanna kinda intuitively eat. Anyway, so I've been doing a lot of research on that and I'm really excited. That's where all my motivation is kinda coming from right now is my diet and my meal plan and stuff like that. I haven't been self tanning at all, so I feel really, really white. Like my whole body is super white and I haven't been self tanning because I got this tattoo a little while ago. Oh yeah, kinda like tattoo update, it's healing healing well. It's awesome. I still am loving it and I definitely love the design and how it healed and everything and it still looks amazing so that's great. I took my full license test on Wednesday yesterday and I passed so that's very exciting. I've had my N so new driver. This is in Canada by the way. Um, I'm not sure if that's like how it is throughout the whole rest of the world but in Canada you go through you have your L so your learner's license and then you have your N your new driver if you pass your license test to get your N. I think you have to have your N for a year. It's either one year or two years. I, I don't know. I had mine for five years. <laughs> Because, don't don't come at me, I had planned to get my full license from my N during COVID and then they ended up canceling my appointment because COVID happened and then they never like rebooked me and I just like was like, okay, well, why should I go get it? Like, I'm busy, I'm starting my career, kind of stuff like that. And so I just kind of put it on the back burner for a while. Oh yeah, by the way, what I just did is I just put a little bit of foundation. I like to mix my foundations because I have this one that's really light. So it's the CC Cream, the one that I've been using for like a year. And then I have this Sephora. It's a little bit darker. It's kind of more orange tone, which is not my skin tone. I'm like more olive. So this one I like to use a little bit just for like filler almost. And then I go in with the Mary Kay foundation because this one's dark. So this one and this one go together really well because this one's too dark for my skin tone and this one is too light. So I mix them and then I use this for filler. I don't really know about makeup and I've been saying this for like two years, but I still have not watched makeup tutorials or anything. So anyways, then I just go in with the Lancome concealer, this one, and it's very light. And I just go, I just do like a dot on all of my trouble spots, you know? And then I just blot it out with my finger first and then I go in with my sponge. Once my skin is done, I like to go in with this palette. It's literally from Walmart. It's from the Essence brand. I bought this when I was just getting into contouring and I was like, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna like contouring because it was like a big thing like back like a couple of years ago. And I bought this and I was like, well, I don't know if I'll even be into it. So I just don't wanna spend a lot of money. So I, I like this one. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Highlight one. It's nice as well, but I find that it's a little, like it makes my skin go a little cakey looking if I put on the highlighter as well as the bronzer. So oftentimes I'll just use the bronzer or I'll just use the highlighter like on, on its own uh, because if you put them together, it looks a little bit too much, like too much cakiness. So oftentimes I like to use this lighter shade. I don't even use the darker shade. And then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury blush, which is like a little bit darker as well. It looks like that. So see how it's a little bit darker and then it also has a highlight. I also really like the MAC cream blush. It's in the shade of Grand and I love it. It's so peachy and pink. So oftentimes I'll either do this mixed with this or I will do this mixed with this together. But it just depends on if I'm wanting like a more peachy and bright look, which I think I am. So I think I'm gonna go with these ones. I do a little bit on my cheeks going upwards with the brush. And then I do a little bit on my forehead peak, just right here. I like this cause it gives it kind of like a natural, kind of like if the sun was to tan your face, it would like tan up here a little bit more. So I do it around there. And then I do a little bit on my chin and my jawline. And that's it. That's as far as my contouring skills went because I never really learned how. <laughs> I really like this blush to be kind of more pigmented and kind of like right on the apple of your cheek. You see that how it's like it just like brightens up that part of my face if you like look at just this part instead of this part and suddenly there is life in my face. I'm definitely like a one one eyeshadow color type of gal. I have two 
mascaras that I like to use. Better Than Sex is obviously just like a really good one that I feel like a lot of people know about. And then there is the Sephora brand. So depends on what I want. Usually I've been, I've been using the Sephora brand. Okie dokie. I think I'm done. <laughs> I realize I did nothing on my brows. Sometimes I brush them, um, but I don't ever fill them in because they're already kind of like, they just chill. I'm just like, I don't really like doing anything to them because whenever I do, I just feel like it's too much, you know? Anyway, gonna go in with the Cover FX setting spray in like this unicorn kind of colors. Like it's, it's an illuminating spray. That's my 10 minute makeup routine, even though it took me way longer because I chatted your freaking ear off. So sorry about that. Just been feeling like I need some outward connection. I get really introverted sometimes and I don't outsource very well. So I've been working on doing that, changing that. Look at this cute little nugget. Look at this cute little nugget. What are you doing? We rearranged the room, by the way. We put the bed all the way to the wall and um, I still have my makeup station over there and that's what I was sitting on. It's literally a bedside table, so I'm gonna put that back. Usually it's like this. Now I really wanna go to the store, but I haven't eaten any food yet. I'm gonna have my egg scramble because I still have a bunch of vegetables that I wanna use up before I go get new vegetables, which I will take you to the grocery store with me because I'm gonna go to a new grocery store and get some things that I want. Kind of like a healthy health food grocery store is what I'm going to. I need to eat because if I go to the grocery store hungry, I'm gonna buy the whole freaking store and I cannot afford to do that. For this recipe, I've got three eggs, a pepper, some asparagus, I like to keep my asparagus in water in the fridge because it makes them last way longer. And then I have some turkey bacon and an apple, which is just gonna be sliced on the side for kind of like a carb source. He's just the most explorer cat I've ever met. And yes, I do allow him on the counters, but uh, we do watch him very closely <laughs> to make sure he doesn't eat anything. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah You'll find a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah down till we take flight here is my first meal of the day i am trying to eat a little bit less grain and more healthy fats and meats and stuff and vegetables so much more vegetables than i've been eating before this is delicious i'm not gonna lie hopefully i'll be able to eat it all and then i'm gonna take you to the grocery store and we are gonna buy some stuff for my gut biome and my uh, gut health, so yeah. Welcome to my car. It is such a drear day. I don't know if you can see out the window, it's kind of saturated, but it's pouring rain. Oh, you can kind of see it there. My plan is that I'm going to go to Bulk Barn. I'm gonna get everything I can there because it's a lot cheaper than at a grocery store because it is just like bulk items. So I'm gonna get all my nuts there, turmeric powder, and maybe even if they have apple cider vinegar, I'm not sure, sometimes they have some jarred stuff, uh, but if not, I can totally just get that at the grocery store. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna get a bunch of fruits and vegetables because I'm running low on fruits and vegetables and some sweet potatoes and stuff like that. I feel like I've actually never really vlogged before while I was driving. And you know what? I don't mind it. Here's Bulk Barn. I'm so excited. I haven't been to a Bulk Barn in so long because there used to only be one by my old house. And I used to like go to it sometimes, but not a lot. And then now this is the first time I'm going to this location, which is in the area of town that I live in now, currently. You'll find a different side of me. The one I'd like to 
to be a different side of me, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. guys that was a crazy <laughs> excursion in bulk barn I ended up getting a lot of stuff so I'll wait till I get home to show you I still need to go to a market so that I can get like fresh vegetables and stuff pretty much all I got in there was like nuts and seeds and like some coconut flour I end up getting some apple cider vinegar and some collagen collagen I got some collagen and I got some bone broth so that's gonna be very exciting to look into all that and see how my body does with with that stuff let's go to the market and get some actual vegetables and sustenance <music> not a grocery haul unless you do it in one trip. Let's do a three, two, one and turn all of this into a bag list. Oh my gosh, three, two, one. Voila. I'm gonna go over it kind of like one by one. I will do it from this angle for the produce because you know what produce is. So we have kale, we got a bunch of avocados, we've got some baby spinach, cilantro, asparagus, some bok choy, some pomegranates, zucchinis, lemons and lemon juice for salads. We've got some bananas, cucumbers, peppers, and sweet potatoes, tomatoes, turmeric, and some ginger. And then for the stuff that I got from Bulk Barn. First off, I just wanted to say that I got these jars. I got four of them just for having like my nuts and seeds kind of on display because I find like when I keep them in these bags, I don't reach for them as often and I really want to be able to just quickly snack on them. So I got some jars. And then I got some apple cider vinegar. They ended up having it at Bulk Barn, so that was really nice. I got some straws because I do have straws like this as well, except they're really, really long and I have shorter glasses. So sometimes when I want a shorter straw, I think this will be really handy and they're big for smoothies. I got some tea. This is one of my favorite teas. It's gingerbread spice. It's an herbal tea so I can have it at night because it has no caffeine and it's very like festive and stuff going into the like, Christmas season. I think that would be really nice. I got some turmeric powder. But I also got a turmeric bone broth kind of blend. So this you're just supposed to put it in some hot water or milk and it has 12 grams of protein. It's a good source of collagen, protein, potassium, free of antibiotics, hormones. So I just wanted to try it out because I've actually never tried uh, bone broth before or collagen, which I also got a little bit of. I got this like natural collagen powder and it actually has a little write up on it that I stole because I, well, they were free, but <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna need to know how to like put this in my stuff. So it has hydrolyzed collagen peptides. Mix one tablespoon in a half cup or more of cold water, juice, or your favorite beverage. So then we got some bulk items and I know that plastic is not the best. This was kind of like my first shop like this, so I was not the most prepared. Next time I'll definitely go get reusable bags and stuff like that. Hazelnuts, just for in my nut mix. I got some goji berries, some cashews. These are just raw, unsalted cashews. Walnuts are my favorite nut, by the way. Brazil nuts, I really like these as well. I feel like they have a really good flavor and a good crunch, and I really like these with chocolate, so even just like snacking on these with some chocolate chips like scattered in there, really, really good. Love ham parts. Put this in my oatmeal or my granola, which by the way, I am gonna do a homemade protein granola recipe in the next video, which is gonna be really fun. Then I got some nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast can go on 
everything. I really like it on dinners, so like on rice, chicken, fish, even on like vegetables, like I'd steam up some bok choy or kale and just like put some yeast in there. And this is really good for micronutrients as well. I got some coconut flour. Coconut flour, I just wanna start cooking with a little bit more because I'm gonna wanna start baking a little bit more. And I do have all purpose flour, but I'm trying to go a little bit away from just like processed flours and stuff. Then I got some penne. This is red lentil pasta penne. And I just wanted to give it a try. So I was like, you know what, red noodles? That's pretty cool. Last but not least item are some sachets of broth. There's some beef broth, there's vegetable broth, and there's chicken broth, but they're all vegetarian. So they're not actually made with animal products. They are just all vegetarian, but they're like simulated to taste. And I'm gonna be wanting to make a little bit more soups as we go into the colder months. I think that's a really good way to get in your vegetables is putting them in a soup. So that's what I'm going to be trying there. How did you end up with chocolates? They're not chocolates, babe. They're soup. That's not soup. It's I don't know what chocolate looks like. It's a soup, I swear. That is the food shop. I'm going to put all this stuff away, and my fridge is going to look amazing. And food then... Fridge? <laughs> my fridge. That the light is broken on. Our fridge literally... Well, now it's our fridge. doesn't have a light. Babe, fix the fridge. Buy a oh, light. the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> Buy a light for our fridge. And the sun is so delightful. Since we got no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh my god. Brakes are on. <laughs> nice job, cat. What pad? I'm gonna put all this away. And I will see you at the gym. The guy. The beautiful gym. So I've decided to do a high intensity circuit. I'm already, I've already finished two rounds. I'm doing four rounds all together. There's eight exercises in this circuit. will be in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. I'm trying to take it a little easy because my body does feel like very heavy and like not the best right now. So yeah, just trying to take it a little bit light, but I feel like four rounds through the circuit is pretty perfect. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. I wish I could rewind it Only us Oh, I loved you when we were blinded Now time is up And we tried so hard to fight it But we knew we couldn't fight it We are home from the gym. Mushu is bitey and crazy, of course. And I am going to try to make dinner. I'm going to make a soup. <laughs> so I'm really excited because I'm going to make it from scratch. I haven't looked up a recipe. I'm gonna use one of these like beef ones. I think they're the beef, like fake beef, vegetable stock beef soup mix. I'm gonna put in tuna, black beans, this bone broth with turmeric powder carrot, an onion, some sweet potato, some bok choy, some zucchini, and some ginger. That's like all the ingredients I'm gonna put in. Maybe some spices as well, but like that'll just be like parsley flakes, oregano. Oh, actually, I did want to also put in some cilantro, but I think I won't cook the cilantro. I think I'm just gonna put it on top. Let's get to cooking and I will 
kind of just do it as I go, but be remembering what I'm doing so that if it actually tastes good, I will write it in the description box below. And if it doesn't taste good and I wouldn't recommend it, I just won't um, put it in the description box. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> tastes. I was kind of doing some taste tests throughout the whole cooking process. I decided to put some red lentil pasta in there. I know I didn't show you that at the start, but I tried to show you midway through there that I put that in. In hindsight, I probably would have put in two cans of tuna just because it made a bigger portion than I thought, and I feel like I could have eaten a whole can of tuna to myself. So like, if I have another portion, I want a whole can of tuna in that one and a whole can of tuna in this one just for the protein aspect, but I feel like there's, you know, the, with the bone broth and with the, I guess just bone broth and the tuna are the protein sources, but you know, what can you do? I'll change it for next time. So this is what it looks like. I'm so excited. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, that's such a good flavor. It actually works really, really well. And the tuna is really nice because it almost adds like a little bit of um, like it tastes like the pasta kind of. It all takes takes on the same kind of flavor. Mm. And the bok choy. Bok choy is like one of my favorite green vegetables. I guess it's like green and white, but the bok choy is definitely like more of a hearty vegetable. Like it's big and it takes up a lot of space, so it makes you feel more full than you are kind of thing like one of those vegetables that are like really big I'm not crazy about the pasta I feel like it isn't really necessary but man this is just like perfect for winter and fall season all right guys thanks for coming along on my day today you pretty much were with me the whole day other than a little bit in the morning when I had my clients but yeah thanks for coming along and I hope you enjoyed all the little grocery shops and the workout and making all the food I realized I made two meals today in this vlog yeah I hope you enjoyed just coming along for the day with me and if you like this style of video just let me know and please give this a thumbs up if you liked and subscribe and have a great day and I will see you in the next video okay bye